Sorry, gotta go off topic for a second. The the last X Men movie. Okay, I had a lot of issues with a lot of holes in that movie. Like all of them. Yeah. Okay. Wolverine suddenly having metal claws and they didn't point it out. Um, but here's a question for you. Didn't they say when he jumped back in time that once he came back to the present, he would remember everything up to that point in the new timeline, and he would remember the the old timeline. So when he came to the new the new present. And Professor X said, it's time to teach your class. He goes, class? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not that guy. Maybe. But they said. Maybe that he's still he would adjusting jo- to having two timelines worth of knowledge. That's my knowledge taken. him. I'm, That's yeah. two timelines. He just woke up. <laughs> I give him the, you know, a little bit of doubt on that. But what I don't get is how it's so far in the future that Wolverine has gray hair but Storm, Iceman, and Kitty Pride are all still the same age. The same age. Yeah, I had that problem too. Like, and and um, Jean Grey is still walking around with just normal red hair. Well, to be fair though, she's the Phoenix. Oh wait, 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 no. But Scott Summers. I mean, in but, Fox, in Fox, she's not the Phoenix. It's just her subconscious, right? Yeah, well, it's her subconscious. But then, um, because because they went back and they did this whole fixing the timeline thing. Everybody's back to life. Remember, she she couldn't have been the Phoenix because Scott Summers is alive, or she was the Phoenix. She and that, yeah, that but, way to control it. yeah. So so the whole going crazy and killing people, Phoenix, never happened. Right. Yeah. Wait. So well, then maybe him fixing the mutants in the beginning, or maybe people not for the mutants let her to, let her to become more like something of herself. Which allowed her to not have to bottle up the Phoenix, which allowed her to control that power and just be red haired. Maybe. But they're far enough in the future that they had mutant transforming um, sentinels and Wolverine had gray like, hair. It was like Wolverine's not aging. They even, or sixty years after, they, right? They they even I mean, they even admitted Wolverine doesn't age. They said it like while he's standing there with gray hair. You're the only one of us not aging, gray haired guy. They said it. Okay, at the end of Wolverine, or at the end of the Wolverine, when he was in the in the airport, if you looked in like the tele- television, you saw Trask and the the Sentinel technology. Basically, mm-hmm. you saw the hand. Okay, so that is when Kitty Pride and them were all like 16, 17 years old. Yeah. In the future, at most, at most, they were hitting thirty mm-hmm. and still looking the same because that that happens to some people. Yeah. So that means within. 15 to maybe 20 at stretching it years, he went from having a mechanical hand which looked barely more advanced than what he had 30 years prior to that in the 70s mm-hmm. to made of plastic but somehow also metal but also somehow transforming robots. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Got it. Makes sense, totally. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. How did Storm die? I can't get over that. I'm sorry. That's like. Now I think the movie, movie I'm, I'm thinking about all the problems I had with it again. And how did they need to lose? Did he sh- uh, with a piece of metal shoved to his chest. I mean, yeah, like, like, yeah. They killed Magneto with metal. metal. You can't. You, you don't, don't kill, kill that. <laughs> it can't. It can't make Magneto control the electron, the electromagnetic forces in each atom. Because no matter you, even if you're not made of metal, you still have atoms. I mean, yeah. Look. Yeah, I mean, he's, he has done things like control people's brains with a little bit of iron in our body. All right. Okay. And Magneto is so hacks that he's he's able to take a iron rod, shove it inside a machine that doesn't have any metal, lace it with metal, and then take control of it. That, that You showed this in the same in, in And the same that movie. was 40, 50 years prior yeah. to him being killed so, by a piece of metal. So stronger, more powerful... And more experienced Magneto couldn't do that. And how did Kitty Pride get time travel powers? Well, that's what she I didn't have time travel powers. She could just send minds back. No, no, that's no, 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 no. I don't <laughs> accept that. Her power is to phase through solid objects. That's nothing. She was to do with phasing time. through time. They could have come up with another mutant if they didn't want her to be the star of the movie. And they wanted Will Frank to be the star. They could have come up with another mutant. She phased through time, that's and it made no sense at all. Yeah, I was uh, so okay. confused by that too. And then, okay, Kitty Pride wasn't supposed to be able to send Professor X back in time because it was too hard, right? But Professor X 
who had, who had lost his powers for 10 years was able to travel back forward in time to go talk to himself. No, no. What happened was uh, Professor X sent some sort of portal link even though even though Wolverine's mind was technically not there but was in the past. He somehow went through Wolverine's head, went through the same portal, and appeared through Wolverine's face and was there talking to himself. But only Wolverine's somehow. mind went back in time. So it right. so, he, so he it was just something Professor X couldn't do because they said that Professor Wolverine they, had to do they, it because Professor X they used Wolverine as a, so, as a bridge. So Yeah, yeah. The Wolverine Bridge. Done. <laughs> done. Solved it. Plot hole filled. Plot hole humongous. But the thing that bothers me though is that even though that was a bunch of bull crap, they did include the one scene where he's like, uh, like you're I don't afraid. want, like I don't want your future. Is like you're afraid. I remember. Why? Actually, the I the I don't want your future was a completely different scene. But like, like in the but, first but, they yeah. ran it together though. Yeah, and then it's like I don't want your future. You're afraid. I remember. He's, but he, he just said you're afraid. But he said Cerebro knows. In the oh in the, in the, movie. In the movie yeah like in the commercial he's like I remember and I'm like that's so cool and, 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 and that, like, that line is right? epic and it really is days of future past like oh I'm hyped and then you see the movie you're like I'm severely less hyped <laughs> but you, but you know what saved it though was the end when, like first of all I saw it saying and I'm like we're doing apocalypse this is happening this is mm. really happening right now but so, <laughs> but you didn't even have to see the sign because the people are actually sitting there chanting dude's yeah. name I heard the name I'm like. Uh oh, and I saw the dude. And I was like, uh oh, and then what made me actually yell out loud in the theater was the four horsemen. I was like, it's going down! It's going down! This is happening. This is real. But uh, by the way, real quick side note to that. Side I note to seen, the side note. Side note to the side note to the side note. I have seen something disturbing online. People who think that not only is Goku stronger than Superman, which, and you know, I hate Superman. That makes me sick. Hearing mm-hmm. people think that. Not only that, they think that everyone in anime, and, and they're talking, and people who say this are talking like mainstream, like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, One Piece, anime, are in Bleach are somehow stronger than uh, the Avengers and the League. Yeah, I can't even begin no. to tell you all the things that are wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> According to that, and in the comments below, if you want us to do a video. On anime versus comics in terms of who is stronger, let us know and we will bring the rage. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, real quick, I'm just saying, The Flash pretty much take them all. Yeah. Um, the Flash. Because uh, Shunpo, it, it, it's cute. It's cute. Like, what Ichigo does, it's, it's very cute. And then Flash would just step in between his speeds and have tea and then make a new game <laughs> and write a book, take a nap. You know, <laughs> he do he can he can probably take Ichigo's sword and learn Bankai himself and then make it better. And by the way, you know the Flash the Flash having control of the Speed Force, he can't take your speed particularly, but he can use the Speed Force to slow you down. Yeah. So if you want us to do an anime versus comic video, let us know in the comments below. And if you are an anime person and you think anime is better, leave a comment down. We will call you out. Anime may have better stories. That's this true because the, they, they they're self-contained. Yeah. They don't go on for thousands of years. Yeah, anime has better stories, but the power levels, the hacks. Yeah, the hacks. And now, now I'll give the anime this: uh, when it comes to large-scale power stuff, they have more of that. But so many people in comics cannot be put down by blunt force. Mm-hmm. You need some spiritual bull crap to get so many people, or magic, straight up real magic to kill so many <laughs> people. Yeah, and sorry, um, Goku's spirit bomb ain't stopping Superman. No, it might make him stronger. Because one, one, well, no, it's, it's not solar energy. So one, it takes it's not life enough. Energy, but I mean, yeah, but one, it's not enough. It's just not. I'm sorry. There's, there's not. That's not enough blunt force. I mean, you'd have to make a galaxy. It ain't stopping the Hulk either. No, it's not. It's not. It may not even stop Luke Cage. <laughs> it's a blunt force. And it's over in a second. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. Um, you're fighting a guy who can beat you by staring at you. Point is, oh, by the way, so you know, um, Superman's never died before. I'm, I'm gonna put that out there. He's never died, like for good. Like he died for a bit and was like yeah. come back. And then he, he was actually in a coma. He's like but, I was uh, bored, so I decided to come back. But Goku's like died, died, a couple of times. But you know what? He 
Just, he does just choose to come back though. Which is some bull crap. <laughs> but uh, the point is. Hashtag super, super, super Saiyan ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, so yeah, Civil War's happening because the poster's out. Yeah. So it's real, it's happening. Let us know what you guys think about the Civil War as well. But mainly about the anime versus comic books because we like the rage. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be a fun yeah. show. Also, there, there, there's no, there's no, no Superman. There's no Goku. There's no Naruto this week. <laughs> um, but you know uh, the bull crap that's going on in Naruto right now. Mm-hmm. Um,